Good. Um, morning. Welcome to Saturday Circuits. I'm sure by now you've got your dumbbells lined up, you know the drill, the mat and some water. And as usual, we'll work through 45 seconds, 20 seconds recovery. Take care, follow any modifications and um, you can always adapt an exercise, pop another one in if something doesn't suit you for whatever reason. Good. So we'll start off with some butt kicks or you can march. Spring on the arms a little bit more. Another few seconds. Three, two, and one. Good. Kick up the leg, bring down the hand. So engage the core, stay nice and tall. And four, three, two, and one. And just drop into a lateral lunge. So drive your hips back. So the knees are not forward of the toes. Sit into it on one side. Just hold, feel a big stretch through the inner thigh. And on the other side. Good. Bring the feet closer together. Just drop down, rotate through the spine. Look up at the raised hand. Good, four more, two, and one. Bring the feet close together into a chair squat, so hinge back at the hips. As if you're sitting down, extend the arms, elbows up by the ears, squeeze the glutes, and come up. And again, a really good stretch through the spine, squeeze to come up. Two more. Good, and last one. and come up. Hamstring stretch, so heel dig, scoop down, follow up. Just increase the range with this as you go. It's quite windy today, so hopefully you can hear me. Change legs. Good, and two more. And last one. Okay, drop into a reverse lunge. Squeeze the glute, push the hips forward, and just pulse, just to wake up the hip flexor. Bring up the opposite arm, sit into that hold, and then we just side bend, stretching through the oblique muscle. Good. Same thing on the other side. and hold, and then side bend. Good. So open up the hips, just leave with the knee. Core really engaged, one more on each leg. Lovely, give the arms a good roll back. So we're going to start on the floor. I'll quickly show you just a sort of an activation exercise. Bridge with a over it's a marching bridge so grab a weight <clears throat> we're going to take the weight over the head slight bend in the elbows squeeze the glutes and then we're going to march bringing the weight to alternate shins okay gets everything activated ready for the real work good <laughs> off we go so grab your weight squeeze the glutes and march. Hips lifted all the way through. Yeah, keep going, keep the hips lifted. Slight bend in the elbows. Go 
good. Last one coming up. Good. Well done. Okay, we're going to do a sumo squat. So slightly right, wider than a regular squat with a hammer curl. So grab the weights. So feet are slightly wider, toes, toes slightly turned out, drop into the squat, hammer curl, squeeze to come up. Keep the elbows tucked into the ribs. Squeeze the glute and thighs as you come up. Good, doing well. Woo! Welcome back. Good. So holding on to one weight. We're going to do the transverse lunge with a press in the middle. So you step back, front toes come up, step back to the center, press up. Same thing on the other side. So drive the hips back. You can always do a regular side lunge if you find the transverse slightly more difficult. Drive those hips back. Bring the toes up. Good, doing well, nearly there. 10 seconds. And last one. Okay, good. So down onto the mat. I'm going to do a single full press up if you can. You can always drop to your knee. Then a slow mountain climber either side. So slow mountain climber up to the press up. And hinge up to a downward dog. Drop back down. Okay, so single press up, mountain climber, mountain climber, hinge up. Press up, mountain climber, mountain climber, hinge up. Press up. Good, single press up if you can. Mountain climber each side, hinge back. Mountain climber, mountain climber, hinge back and then we'll walk all the way up. Good, next time around if you want to put in just press ups or some combination that works best for you, feel free. Okay. I'm going to take one heavy weight. We're going to deadlift. And then we're going to drop back into a reverse lunge on one leg. So deadlift, squeeze the glutes, reverse lunge. So go as heavy as you can with the weight. Soft knees, straight back in the deadlift. Stay with this leg. Good. Hinge back at the hips, nice straight back. Come up and drop into the reverse lunge. Good. Okay, set so of cardio. I'm gonna do straightforward high knees. Okay, if you want something slightly gentler, then you can add in a little bounce and bring down the arms.
Good, doing well. Straightforward prisma lunges. So just working with the hands at the side of your head. Alternate forward lunges. So push off that front foot. Stay upright through the upper body. Keep the core engaged all the way through, right to the end. Good, well done. Okay, down onto the mat, we're going to do Two mountain climbers, then hold on the third. So they're not fast, they're sort of into immediate speed. So one, two, and then hold. One, two, hold. One, two, hold. One, two, hold. One, two, hold. 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 Keep the back straight, how we pull them? Hold. Hold. One, two, hold. Shoulders over the wrist all the way through. Woo! Last one. Hold. Well, hold that. <laughs> Okay, we're going to do a row and a tricep kick back. So we're going to do it in what's called a split stance. So it's just a little bit like a lunge, stepping back. So row, kick back. Row, tricep kick back. Try and keep the neck relaxed all the way through. That's not Stay in this position. We'll work with the other leg next time around. Woo! Good. Actually, we need these. So a wide squat, a plie squat, coming up into a shoulder raise. Okay? If at any point your shoulders feel it, you can always just do it holding weights. Just working through the lower body. Keep the back straight as you drop down. Squeeze the glutes to come up. Good. Doing well. Good, keep pushing. Last one. Okay, down on the floor. So we're going to do a full body crunch. So hands behind the head. 
And then I'm going to bring up the knees. Bring the elbows to the knees and extend the leg. If it's too much, start with scrunches. Slightly gentler. <laughs> Work through the stomach, not the neck. Back pressed into the mat. Last one. Good. Well done. First circuit. Ah, yes, side plank. Okay. So we're just going to hold the side plank. On the elbow, you can do a fully extended arm. If you prefer, hold it this side, okay? Extend the arm. If this is too much. You can, you can always come onto a supporting knee. You're still working through shoulder over wrist, okay? So stay with this side, whichever one you're doing. Good, keep a nice straight line, just top shoulders back. Good, well done. Sit back on your heels, have a little bit of a stretch through. Well done. Okay, we'll just do a quick burst of pit. Well done. That wasn't too bad, was it? Right, we're going to start off with floor taps. So just tapping the opposite foot and sort of swing the legs from side to side. 20 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds of recovery. And then we're going to do Basketball, so squat jumps. Okay? But basically just move, pick something if you prefer something else. Off we go. Nice and quick if you can. Two and one. Good. I'm just turn the music up slightly. Okay, second set coming up. Good. 
Okay, so we go back to the bridge with March. So grab your weight. Down the floor. And then we'll go for it. Exercise one. Oh, that's too loud. You carry on. You know what you're doing, so you carry on. Good, squeeze the glutes, keep the hips lifted. Bring the weight to meet the shin. Last one. Good. Well done. Okay, sumo squat with hammer curls. So slightly wider than a regular squat. So hammer and hammer. Elbows tucked into ribs. Don't lose the hammer curl. if you find the transverse lunge a little tricky. So stepping back. Drive the hips back, toes come up. Good, press up. Okay, one more coming up. And finish, good. So I'm gonna take a heavy weight, holding it in front of me. You can always hold two lighter ones on your shoulders. We're going to deadlift and then drop into reverse lunge on the other leg. So hinge back, squeeze the glutes to come up, reverse lunge. Good, nice straight back as you don't lift. Good, last one. Woo, lots going on in that. Okay, this is where we pop in the side plank. So other side, just holding a side plank. Either with the knee supporting you, on the extended arm, elbow, just find your own level. Just keep this lifted. You don't have to raise your arm like I am, but just make sure this lower hip is lifted. Just work at your own level. Not complaining, but the sun is so strong. <laughs> 
Good. Keep posing. Good. Nearly there. Keep that hip lifted. Just push it up a little bit more. Last few seconds. Woo, well done. Have a quick stretch through, then we're back to high knees. Basically cardio, so if there's something you prefer, skaters, etc., pop that in. Okay, let's do it. Good, keep going. I'm going to do a quick burst for the last few seconds. Okay, here we go. Woo, well done. Okay, quick drink and then prisoner lunges. Almost see these as recovery. So hands behind the head, or turn up forward lunge. Core tight. Push off that front foot, come back up. Good, nearly there. Last one coming up. Woo! Well done. Okay, mountain climbers, one, two, and then hold. Just work at your own pace. At this, you can take it slightly slower than I am. So it's the plank position, so your butt can pull in. Two. Off we go. One, two, hold. 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 Woo! Nearly there. Last one. And hold. Good. Sit back and put a stretch through. Okay, it's the split. Stance like a lawnmower position with the roll and kick back. So just big step back. Roll, kick back. Good, just change back at the elbows as you kick back. Keep the core tight. Last one. Good, even your front thigh should work through that. Okay, wide squat with shoulder raises. Okay, 
Okay. So dropping down, back straight, and come up. Squeeze the glutes, thighs to come up. Good, last few. Woo, well done. Okay, now we're going to do the single press up, full one if you can. Mountain climber, slow mountain climber, knee to elbow, and then hinge back to a downward dog. If you want to just do press ups with slow mountain climbers, that's fine. So press up, mountain climber, mountain climber, hinge up. Press up, mountain climber. Good. All of you with me? Go down with dog and just walk up. Only to finish down on the mat with the, the crunch, okay? So if you don't like extending your legs, just work with your feet on the floor, work through just a regular crunch. with a volleyball block. Some of you will know this. And what I'm going to do skater lunges with a weight. So side lunge and a volleyball block in the middle. Okay? You want to put in star jumps or whatever, that's great. All right, 20 seconds. <laughs> Off we go. Well done, same thing again. Here we go. Skaters with a weight. If you need a recovery, take a recovery. Good, well 
done. So feel your core working through this. Last one. Stay with it, last few seconds. Two and one, good, well done. Optional row. So we've done it before. You can hold the uh, just hold the plank if you prefer. If not, we're going to row up alternate sides. Hold the weight if the fly is too much. 
Good, halfway. Nearly there. Dumbbell swing, like a kettlebell swing, but just working with one weight. And we've got a back exercise to finish, and we're done. So go for a heavy one if you can. Hinge back and drive forward. Good. All the energy for the swings coming from the lower body. Drive the hips forward. to do the back sort of stretch and strengthening exercise and you can extend the legs make it a little bit more of a core work we've done it quite a few times before so arms and neck and shoulders on the mat legs in this position just gently lowering from side to side using the core you want to make it slightly harder and work the abs, extend the legs as you go to one side, bring them around and draw them back up towards the other side. Then extend and back around. Okay, so just find your own level, we'll do 12 all together. Off we go. So I'll just count through and draw us to a close. And two. Three. Make sure you feel your lower abs are able to do the slightly harder move. Good, I'll make that halfway. Another four more. Draw those knees in. Last couple. And last couple. Woo, well done. So just pull the knees towards you to the chest for a hug and then just roll around through the lower back. Helps recovery. It's all the connective tissue and massage. Good, well done. And then just extend, point the fingers towards one side of the room, toes to the other, feel a stretch through the spine. Last stretch, and then bring the leg up for a hamstring stretch, so just pull towards you, try and keep the knees straight. Good, other side. Okay, so you can turn over for a pigeon or stay with me on your back for a regular glute stretch. So using the lower leg, just push that foot. Try and keep the top knee back, so you open up the hips and squeeze the stretch through the glute bone. Okay, 
change slides. I'll drop into a pigeon just to demonstrate that. If anybody's not sure, bringing your knee through, extending the back leg, head on the mat. Good, well done. And then we'll all come up to standing. And going to a quad stretch, so just bring the heel up to the bottom. Good. Oh, lovely September days. Happy Jewish New Year today. Good, other side. Bring the heel up to the bottom, knees together. Good, and then a calf stretch. So stepping back, heel down, feet facing forward, bring an arm across and pull towards you. So make sure that calf stretch is in place, don't lose it. Good, same thing on the other side. Feet tracking forward. Okay, chest stretch, so taking the hands behind, nice and tall. Good, and then tricep, drop the hand between the shoulder blades, pull on the elbow. Well done everyone, I feel like I've worked, so hopefully you have, I'm sure you have. Other side, push that Hand down between the shoulder blades, pull on the elbow. Good, and then we'll take the feet wider, roll down, cat and cow stretch on the way back up, and then we're done. So we can roll down, hold the ankles for a bit more of a hamstring stretch. And then shuffle the feet in, hip width apart, and roll up, gentle squat, Dip the back and then round up through the upper back and one more each way. Good. Okay, guys, well done. Thanks for joining me. I'll have a quick chat at the end, but we'll stop the recording. Have a great weekend. Take care. God bless.